Hey Alex, this is Holden Dress. We spoke on the phone earlier today and I said I was going to send you over this quick video. In the video, it basically shows a few things that you can do and implement yourself to actually get some more traffic to your website. And I'm also gonna take a look at how much traffic you are getting currently per month versus that of your top competitor in your area and what they're doing to, to get all that traffic. And like I said, a few things that you can do yourself to, to steal it away from them. Um, and a lot of times, you know, the only hesitation I see that people have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they don't really know who the experts are and who they're not. And that's why I like to make this video and provide you with a little bit of value. Um, maybe you can see results and then, uh, you know, it's resulted in a lot of people just reaching back out to me and asking me for help. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got your website pulled up right here. This is pretty good. I like how you have the free quote area up here. Um, it, it gives a place for people to reach out immediately, you know, and some actual pictures of your team. When it comes to Google optimization, the first thing that Google looks at is content. They want to see 1,500 words of content alone on your homepage for optimization. Um, I have this tool here called SEO Quake. It pulls some metrics from your page, but it just shows me that you only have about 486 words of content on your homepage. So that falls short of that 1,500 that Google really likes, right? Um, in addition to content, Google wants you to add what we call keywords. Keywords are basically anything someone's searching for in this bar to find you. And you can see recommended keywords here of you know, things people are actually searching in your area. The, the key is you want to pick keywords that are what we call buyer intent. So keywords that people are searching for to reach out and hire a contractor right away. Uh, a good buyer intent keyword would be emergency tree service. You know these people are looking for your services right now. Uh, they're ready to reach out and purchase someone it's an emergency right versus tree removal cost right you know that's something people are kind of just searching around they're not really ready to to reach out to someone right now they're just doing their research um, so make sure you include those keywords into your content you can see here and at the bottom of the first pages of google as well some recommended keywords uh, to use that people are actually searching uh, very often over here, this is what we call the Google Map Pack. This is where 70% of people that search in this bar actually click on. Um, and there's only three spots here, so it's really important to be up in the top three for a given keyword. And the way you do that is by getting your name, address, and phone number of your business into as many directories as possible. Those are things like Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, White Pages, whatever it may be. Any place you can get your name, address, and phone number listed is considered a directory. Um, the more of these you have, the better. The key is consistency across all of them. You don't want to have any inconsistencies like your phone number being one thing on one and then uh, different on another or your hours being you know, nine to five on your Facebook and then eight to, eight to four on your website. Those are considered confusing to the customer and you'll actually lose authority in that aspect. Down here, this is the organics area. This is basically where the remaining 30% will go is just the first page. People don't really go past the second or third page. So to be on the first page is pretty important. To get on the first page of Google, you need to basically go out and get what we call backlinks. Backlinks are links from other websites linking to your website and not all backlinks are created equal. Some backlinks have more authority or what we call domain authority. So you can see here for this website, uh, it's out of a score of 100, they have 84 out of 100, 50 out of 124 out of 100. So you want to find backlinks that are relative to your in your industry topically and also, you know, our quality content. People actually go and look at them, and that's how you'll know that they have high authority. Uh, let's take a look over here. So Heart of Wood Tree Service is the first one that pops up in the search results when I type in Tree Service in Charlotte. And I compared your website to them on this tool called SEM Rush, which basically lets me see how much traffic is going to someone's business and why. And if you look here, Heart, Heartwood gets 1,300 people organically to their website a month, uh, which is an insane amount of traffic, right? That's a lot of customers potentially. And you have 114, which isn't bad, but if you were able to take a fraction of the customers from this guy away, right? that would result in a significant amount of more money for your business, more customers coming in the door. Um, if you look over here, this is why they're getting so much more, they're so much higher ranked is because they have 1,200 backlinks over your 76 backlinks, right? So 
that's one of the very main reasons. They just have a lot more power and authority from the backlinks that are linking to their website. In addition, they have a thousand keywords that they're ranking for versus your 47. So I would say for those reasons, you know, content, you're, you're a little short on this, well, about 500 words you have. You need about 1,500 to 2,000. Um, adding in those keywords that people are actually searching for that are buyer intent, right? So people will actually reach out to you. Uh, and then getting more backlinks and that'll start boosting you up and you can start collecting some of this traffic away from this guy here um, and getting some more business and customers to your website. I hope this was helpful and like I said, if you want to chat some more, please reach out. My information is listed in the bottom of this email. Uh, whether you're interested or not, uh, if you're not against it, I'd love to hear some feedback from the, the video. Uh, just any thoughts you might have had, uh, things you liked or didn't like, things like that. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch and have a great night. I'll talk to you later.